Hello and welcome back to Laura Fenn Gaming Plays Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. I'm your host Laura Fenn. In the latest Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar walkthrough video, we're at part 17. This time we're going to finish up the shrines. This is part 2 of it. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more classic games like this. Do not forget the notification bell to be updated and more. In the last video, we visit the first four shrines. This one, we're going to finish the last four shrines. Again, you're going to need the mantra, the rune, and the shrine location. Now, for the shrine of humility, before getting there, you're going to need the silver horn. Otherwise, you're going to be locked in endless battles and most likely forced to lose some valor points. So let's not waste any more time and go ahead and see the seer first. As always, when you go into the shrines, check on the seer. If you get the elevated status, in other words, go to the shrines, that's good. If not, work on your virtues. I have a video on how to quickly gain the virtues up. Or for those of you who decide to use the Skull Monday at the very beginning of the game and grind, well, use that too. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and talk about the remaining four virtues, which is humility. And then, then that's honesty. After that, valor and spirituality. Yeah, we're hitting those four shrines. As a bonus, I'm tossing in the location or possible location of the White Stone. Yeah, I rested in Scarbray and got very lucky. Anyways, we're done with that. Now, normally I would go to Mangentia. However, I have a nice strategy to get to the Shrine of Humility faster. You want to know what that is? We're going to Moonglow. You're asking, why were you going to Moonglow? Well, you see, Moonglow is not only very close, I do mean extremely close to the Shrine of Honesty, it's also very close to the Shrine of Humility, aka the Isle of Abyss, or Abyss Isle, or what they name it later on, Isle of the Avatar. Oh yeah, I planned this accordingly. It was a strategic thing I uh, did. I did a scout run, saw the shrine there. I didn't enter the uh, hills or so without the silver horn. Yeah, make sure you have the silver horn. Very important. I have a video on how to get the silver horn. If you want the short, short version of it, just use my timestamps. If you want the long version of it, that's fine too. It just shows the exact location how to uh, get there via boat for the horn. Anyways, Moonglow, I figured it was a nice place to uh, put a shortcut there. Yes, in Ultima 4, you can get plenty of ships. You want to do is sell them to certain islands and certain places. So uh, this way, if you need to go to A, a dungeon, or a B, you want to go to a shrine or other locations, you can use the ship as a docking port. So this way, it's a lot, uh, nice uh, time saver. Oh, yeah, this walkthrough, I'm going to try to save some uh, time from here on out on uh, things like that. So we're about to uh, go to the Shrine of Humility, but first you want to start at Moonglow. This is Moonglow. So from there, exactly go south. Really simple, really easy with the Silver Horn. And let's uh, go ahead and take care of these uh, fools here. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry I got a little too excited, but whoa. That one is seriously OP. Kind of wish I could use it, but I'll set the magic axe though. I think the magic axe is almost the same as the magic wand. Now, Shimino, he has the magic bow, a little bit weaker than the axe and wand, but it seems to me Shimino is a crack shot. I don't know, or I may have been getting like 20s with him. Either way, he's been stepping it up. Well, then again, I killed him over and over again during a. Uh, few grind runs when I was uh, trying to get some stats up and despise. Yeah, he wasn't too happy at the time, but now he's very happy with the bow. So let's uh, go ahead and take care of these uh, ship destroyers. Okay, you can run away if you want to. We're just going to kill you all. And now nah, I'm just going to try to kill these foes as fast as possible. Next time I'm going to grind, it's probably going to be, uh, let's see here, five, six, seven, eight. Unless two, three, and four party members are real close to level eight. We're almost done uh, killing these sea monsters. Yeah, unfortunately, you're going to see a lot more battles than the last video due to the fact that I'm on a ship. No, I'm not on a horse. A horse gets away with uh, combat. In other words, you just hit the uh, Y button, the Y button, and you can speed through combat if you know what you're doing. Okay, let me set that again. There we go. We're going to go uh, south, everyone. Apologize for the sea serpent ambush. And let's make sure we're there. We have our horn ready. And we're going to do it this time. So we're almost there. 
and you see this uh, uh, pocket of mountains. So there's a uh, open there. There's yeah, there's the opening. Once you're there, exit your ship, immediately hit the use key and type in horn. This is where you want to be at. This is the only way you uh, guessed it to the shrine. So we're going to hit the use button, type in the word horn, uh, do that, type three steps, use it again. Because I tried six or seven steps, I got rigged in the combat. So three, four steps should do it. Unfortunately, uh, this guy just showed up. Uh, don't panic at all. What we're going to try to do is uh, get this guy there. So I'm going to have to use the horn again. And they're mages. They're not going to last long. I'm sorry about that. I'm just getting excited. I mean, it's a trip to the shrines. I mean, come on. This is the one thing you want to do in Ultima. Now, if you're in Ultima Online, uh, go ahead and do that too. I, with my one of my characters uh, ever since I made the YouTube channel, I visit the Shrine of Compassion and the Shrine of Justice. I'm thinking about sh uh, visiting the Shrine of Honor and Sacrifice. I'll see how far I can get with uh, those and the other ones too. Let's uh, go ahead and take care of this last uh, mage or evil wizard or whatever you want to call it or evil sorcerer. There we go. Evil caster dead. Let's use the horn first. And yeah, I'm going to try to gather that. Yes, okay, we did it. So I'm going to be careful. From here on out, use the horn three or four times. I'm doing three because it's a safer way to do it. We're almost there. Just keep on using the horn. No uh, demons and uh, Balrons will show up. And we made it. Now, it says, upon what virtue dost thou meditate? Humility. Yep, we're going to go ahead and type that in. Make sure you type that in correctly like I am. Now, just remember, do not use the mantra pride. That's M-U-L. No, that's a no-no. Meditate for three cycles. Once we get there, I'll give the answer to the mantra. Yeah, this uh, one to get the mantra shrine location was a long one, but it was worth it. Okay, that is number one. Mantra, we're going to go ahead and type L-U-M. That's backwards for M-U-L. So L-U-M all the way three times, and boom, you uh, did it. I'm going to say this is a very nice location for a shrine, despite the fact it's surrounded by demons, Balrons, devils, uh, invisible gremlins. Well, not really gremlins, but still, you all get the point. We're almost done here. Yeah, I'm just waiting for any moment for a demon to pop up and say surprise. And yeah, I'll let you all fill in the blank for the other word. We're almost finished. Yeah, it takes a little bit, but it's worth it. Like I said before, I cannot wait to see this modernized one day for fun. Thus has achieved partial avatarhood in the virtue of humility. We did it! That's number five on the list. Unfortunately, it will not show the symbol because I want to keep that horn going. Thus art granted a vision. All right, this is another uh, word. This is what we want exactly. And with that, we are done with the fifth shrine in, the, in this series. First one in this uh, video. So we're going to use the horn to get out of here. Three steps, blow the horn, or four steps depending on how you feel. We're just going to keep on using the horn, even if it says slow progress. We're going to count that as a step. Yeah, it's annoying, but you know what? It's better than getting a combat against uh, demons and uh, devils. We don't want that. So we're getting back to the boat, then back to Moon Glow. That's our uh, next location. Yeah, we're going to the Shrine of Hon Honesty. So from the boat, just go north. You'll reach Moon Glow Island. Very simple, very easy to uh, do. Let me uh, make sure I uh, put that right. And our uh, symbols start to form in between our food and, of course, ship hall. Now, if you're on land, that's food and, of course, gold. But still, that symbol is going to be really nice. I know what it is at this point, but still, it is really uh, cool. We're going to just go ahead and park it at Moonglow. We're going to rest at the Moonglow Inn. You're asking Fenton, why is that? Well, uh, for those of you who are new here, you see, anytime you meditate at a shrine, you must rest at an inn or a hole-up camp. I'm going to say in at this point because I'm at Moon Glow. Let's go to Yin. And uh, it's very cheap. Uh, two beds. For, oh, wait, wait. That's not the cheap one. That's the other place for 20 gold. I'll take it somewhere else. Damn, that's expensive. Rest at the Yin. You'll uh, get healed up and your mind will be cleared after you just uh, got the symbol. So uh, there we go. We're all set. Good to go. We're going to Moon Glow. We're going to Shrine of Honesty next, which is very, very close on by. Now, in order to get to the Shrine of Honesty, uh, all you need to do is just go a little bit south, still sail around the island. You want to sail around the east side, it's easy to uh, get to, or you want to sail around the west side. Either way, you, know, you want to get to a certain point, I'm going east, that's easier. So after you uh, go east, uh, go north, follow the island, 
and I simply go north once again. It's real easy to do. It's much more easier than the uh, previous shrine. So we're getting there. We're almost there already. So what we're, we're trying to do is uh, sell the ship. I'm going to try to avoid combat as much as possible. You know what? Yeah, that orc's been bothering me for way too long. Yeah, you do not get experience points in Ultima 4 by uh, using your uh, cannons to destroy the foes. It's like that in Ultima 3, but 2, oh boy, ship was a valid tactic to get experience points. And now, that's the dungeon. I think it was wrong. I might be uh, incorrect on that. So we found that dungeon already. So from the dungeon, just keep on going north like I am. And we're almost there, everyone. There we go. We have reached the shrine. No poison marshes or anything like that. Nope. Very simple. Very easy to get to. And there it is. There's the dungeon. There's the shrine. Now the shrine, of course, is uh, north of uh, Moonglow. Very easy to get to with a ship. Let's uh, go ahead and enter this. Since we rested up. Upon what virtue dost thou meditate? Honesty. Now I did everything one shot to get the location of the shrine, the rune, and the mantra. Meditate for three cycles. So we're going to begin this once again. It's the same as last time. I mean, come on. It's very simple. Very easy. Let's see here. All right. It is meditating. Still doing it. I'm going to say this. I'm enjoying this though. I mean, I'm just having fun just going around the world. Now the mantra. A-H-M. Keep on typing A-H-M for three cycles. Simple as that. Okay. Back to it. I was having fun with uh, going around the world. Exploring these shrines. Using my horse, using my uh, ship. Good times. Even killing foes with magical weapons. Except for uh, Jeffrey and Katrina, they have no magical weapons. Until I get a certain one, which will be uh, most likely at a certain point in the game. I'll uh, explain that in a future video. Uh, we're almost finished, so type AHM for 2 and 3, and you're all set, just like the previous shrines. Uh, we're almost finished, and look at that. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Those has achieved partial avatar hood in the virtue of honesty. And another, another symbol has formed. Also, we're going to go ahead and get another letter too. That's runic. And yes, I will translate that at the end of the video. Now, if we had instruction manuals back in the day still, I should say today. Now, nah, I'll tell everybody, go look at the manual. Those are granted a vision. That is a runic symbol. Or, or of course, it's part of the runic alphabet. That was in the manual back in the day in the uh, latter Ultimate Games. I think it was uh, 4 and beyond. Oh boy, it looked like a pirate ship. Yeah, we don't want to be uh, fighting it on the open seas. And besides, uh, a few hits with the magical weapons should finish them off. See? One. Oh, okay, John. Nice try. Thanks, same thing, Jala. Uh, Julia, I mean, Mariah did great. Uh, Shimino, come on. And of course, my uh, gold gets stolen. Oh, they're all gonna pay horribly. Let's uh, move everybody over. All right, Shimino, that was a sniper shot. And of course, Katrina did it. Whoa, the shepherd got a nice uh, kill. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, park the ship to Moonglow Island near the gate. Yeah, Moon Gate. Yeah. Reason being is, is uh, it's like I said before, it's like a taxi thing. Uh, so this way I could go to the dungeon uh, or I go anywhere else without uh, taking the wrong route. Yeah, it's a bit lazy, but you know what? That's quite all right. So from the shrine, you go south, you reach Moonglow Island. Very simple, very easy to do. And uh, this Nixie is chasing me for a while. All right, I'll uh, play since the wind is on my uh, side. And it is not. Oh, this is going to be a uh, cake. Yeah, great. Uh, I have to uh, line everybody up. Thought it was gonna be cake. Uh, nice try. Besides, I got magical weapons, and fortunately, I cannot fire the cannons off the ship. Ah, uh, boo! Too many people missing. Let's see here. Okay, that's all right. And Shimino got the kill. Five experience points, but I'll uh, take it. Our uh, next stop is Jellum and then the Shrine of Valor. You're going to see why. That one's going to be the easiest shrine to do. Change that. That's going to be the quickest shrine to do, but we will have to rest up in uh, Jellum, the City of Valor. That's very important to me. You always have to rest in this uh, game in between meditations, of course. We are here, so let's go ahead and get to uh, Jellum, the City of Valor. 
And I'm going to go ahead and do the old-fashioned way. The gate spell. Well, actually, the old-fashioned way is just using a moon gate or uh, using a ship. I'm using the gate spell. So we're going to do the gate spell, phase three. We'll get to this, that city. See, I put a boat there on purpose because it'll be like a uh, ferry away from uh, the city to the uh, Shrine's Island. As always, we're going to rest up. Hopefully, I do not get jumped. If so, yeah, I have some real concerns in this uh, city. That's the weapon armor shop. That's where I did get the plate mail. Yeah, that's right. My paladin looks like an actual paladin now. Avatar symbol and all. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. We're going to log for the night. Oh, wow, that is cheaper than moon glow. Uh, don't mind the rats. Oh, that's fine. If there's any rats, we're going to kill it. Wait, we can't kill rats. They're uh, not evil creatures. Yeah, we'll just let them, you know, go. Uh, the room was good, thanks. Uh, we are done with that. On to the Shrine of Valor. We're all rested and definitely ready to go. The Shrine of Valor is very easy to get to from uh, Jellum. You just go exactly south. Now, I have a boat that's very nearby, so let's uh, do that. There's the shrine. It was already in view once we arrived via Moon Gate. So, we're going to enter it, and here we go. Upon what virtue dost thou meditate? Valor. How many cycles? Simple. We're going to do three. The seer told us three. We're going to listen to the seer. So we're going to do the meditation thing again. I'm going to say this. So far we got six out of eight total in this series. Video two out of four. Halfway there. So now we get the mantra. That's R-A. Ra. Just like an Egyptian god. So you're going to have to type Ra three times. And that's that. Very simple. Very easy to do. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, do it. And there we go. That should be... Uh, Ready for uh, the next one, one more time, and we are done. Now, again, if you miss the mantra, you'll lose points in spirituality. You don't want to do that. Bad idea, especially for the uh, next, uh, what do you call it, virtue, which is spirituality. So, we're going to type it one more time. Those have to achieve partial avatar hood in the virtue of valor. All right, everyone, we uh, did it. Very simple, very easy. That's seven down and one left. And there's the symbol we do get this time. So uh, we're done with that. The art granted a vision. Now we're going to do a little bit of a uh, detour. We're going to Scar Bright. You're asking, why is that? Well, I want to rest at the end, number one. Number two, I want to see if the ghost shows up. Now, uh, the uh, Cove episode, we were told the exact location of where to go to next, which is Scar Bray. Now, Merlin told us the location of the uh, Black Stone. That'll be in a future video. So, there we are. We're in Scarbray, and it's not Eternal Winter, by the way. We're going to the end. So, you're going to simply rest at the end, and that's that. Let's see how much it is. Okay, five pieces of gold. Oh, wow, this is getting cheaper. Uh, we're going to rest up, see if the ghost is there. We'll rest a few times. If uh, not, that's it. Oh, look at that. You meet a ghost figure or ghostly figure. We're going to type in white stone. All right, let's type in stone. The white stone sits atop the serpent's spine. It can only be reached by one who floats within the clouds. Okay, that is a very important hint. We will have hopefully get a device that does that. If not, get a certain spell or go to a certain place that will actually teleport us uh, there. So, we uh, did it. We got the location of the White Stone in the Serpent Spine Mountains up top there. Hopefully, I will show you the location uh, via gem via, towards the end of the video. Now we're done with that, we're going to Minoc. You're asking, why we're we going to the Minoc Moon Gate? Well, the Minoc Moon Gate is the only way to get to the Shrine of Spirituality. You uh, see, the Moon Gate activates at double full moon. That was a hint that was given to us. So what we're going to have to do is uh, wait that out this time. So this is a double new moon, which is fine. So we're going to try to position ourselves so we don't get attacked by pirates or someone like that. And don't accidentally go in the moon gate. I'm going to go in when it's the right time. So we're going to just keep on waiting. So use the space bar to pass. This one is not a long wait since I arrive at double new moon. And it won't take us uh, that long. Still, this is how you get to the Shrine of Spirituality. Very easy to uh, do. This is the last, of uh, course, I should say, virtue to do. This is the eighth and final one. For this video, the fourth and final one. And you notice the symbols start to uh, show up at the middle. Yeah, it looks like it's a symbol. I'll explain that a bit. There's Double Moon. We're quickly go, go in, and we have arrived at the Shrine. 
Upon what virtue dost thou meditate? Spirituality. Very simple. We're going to type that there. We're going to actually type in the full name. I don't want to get that wrong, too. How many cycles? Three. We're not going to stay here for one cycle. Nope. And uh, let's make sure we do it. Now, you want to be careful with this one. You get this one wrong. You get uh, points knocked off of spirituality. You most likely you get kicked out of the shrine. We don't want that. Let's see here. We're going to type in. Let's see. O-M. We're going to type that for three times. So that's O-M. Now, I'm not uh, at the beginning of the video or the uh, shrine series. I give the answers right away to that. I want to make sure people watch the other ones so this way they see on how I got the answer. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up. We'll get the final rune word, or say rune letter. I'll translate that for everybody towards the end of the video. Oh, look at that. We're almost done. We're uh, about to get the final meditation in, and that should uh, do it. I would say this was a good shrine to go to. Very easy, very simple. That's why I decided to rest at, at Scarbray. Try to get the white stone information, which worked fine. Those have achieved partial avatar hood in the virtue of spirituality. We did it. All eight shrines done, and that symbol looks like an Ankh. That's uh, like a symbol of life. That's very good. So let's see what we uh, get in our uh, vision. Oh, wow. Let's see here. Look like an up arrow. Those aren't granted a vision. Oh, that's very good. So we got eight rune letters, and I will translate that. But for now, we're going to the castle next. You're asking, Finn, why are we going to the uh, castle? Well, we're going to get our information for our next part of the uh, quest. I feel like that was very important. Uh, at this time, I was goofing off trying to time moon gates. I missed time so many of them. Yeah, see, I messed up badly. That's Magentia. Oops. <laughs> I think, no, that's Moonglow. Yeah, that's Moonglow. All right, I messed up on that. Everybody looks good so far. Oh, wow. Look like our uh, seven or eight party members might uh, get to the next level, level six. This is what I want. I still got plenty of uh, reagents for uh, mix up some more uh, gate spells. I have plenty of gate spells, so I made a lot of that. We're going back to uh, Britain, or I should say Britannia. Depends on how you want to feel about that. So we're we'll going to go ahead and, of course, check the seer as always. Yeah, we're going to leave the horse. I'm going to go ahead and rest too. Yeah, I meditate. I just want to make sure I have a backup resting so I could, uh, you know, if I mess up, I go fix my uh, virtues. I go meditate again. Let's give the beggar 10 pieces of gold. I feel really generous today. There you go. And, of course, he thanked me or she. Let's go ahead and rest at this nice end. It's time to celebrate. Locks for 15 pieces of gold. Yeah. That is uh, not expensive. That's not cheap. But still, it's in the middle. Just right. And the room was full of rats. Uh, it was just great listening to them all night. Anyways, to the castle. That's our uh, one of our last goals is to get our information on what to do next. Also, as I promised, to show you on the gem where the uh, certain spine mountains are at. So let's uh, go over here. All right, let's do there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see the seer. Screw it. I already did the other four virtues, so might as well do the for the last four. Let's wake everybody up. There we go. Well, most of them are up. Let's uh, type in the one we got. Let's type this one in. Partial avatar hood. You don't need my insight. Oh, Valor. I almost messed that up. Same thing with that, too. Just double checking, triple checking. Honesty. There we go. And uh, the last one. And there we go. So we have eight partial avatar hoods. So uh, in other words, uh, because of that, we could get the mystic weapons and armor. That will be in a uh, future video. So let's go upstairs, talk to Lord British. Now we know what our next goal is. It involves truth, courage, and of course love. Yeah, the hints gave us that and also our brother Antos. So we speak to Lord British. He'll give us the location. I said Britain. Uh, he tells us even though the great evil lords have been routed, evil yet remains. And of course he tells us about the quest of the Avatar. Now I should have did that at the very beginning of the uh, game, but still. Gives, of course, we're here supposed to give people new hope. And we have to be a shining example to everybody. So we're going to go ahead and type this first. Truth. Many truths can be learned at the Lycerium. It lies on the northwest shore of Verity Isle. That is in the Moonglow Isle, by the way. Since I do not have a uh, map to show everybody on the internet. And if we type Courage, Serpent's Castle on the Isle of Deeds is where courage should be sought. 
that's actually south of Trinsic. I went there before. That's at Funky Castle. What's love? Look for the meaning of love at Infant Abbey. The Abbey sits on the edge of the deep forest. That is, I believe, northwest of you. I've been there already for the Silver Horn. Because of that, that's our first goal is that for the next video. Easy and simple to uh, get to. And also, we got pointed out there was a grove there. I want to get the Mystic uh, Armor there in the next video. For now, we are done getting information. We're going to do one more thing is show you the location of the Serpent Spine Mountains. So we're going to get on our horse. It's been a while, but we're going to just giddy up, avoid the lich, and of course you go north. Just keep on going north. I should went a little bit more west, and I'm going to pop the gem. Now, if you could barely see it on the west part of the map, there's a little bit of dent and dent there. Look like you can land something there, or you can teleport there, or something like that. Well, that is how you uh, get to uh, the white stone. It must be an object we must find, but that's all right. So it is time for what did I learn in this video, and here we go. The in-game runes I did translate after I filmed both episodes to one word, infinity. That's supposed to be in your PFD files, or if you have a manual, just look those uh, up and translate the runes from there. Serpent Spine Mountains has the white stone. Now, Serpent Spine Mountains is north of Castle Britannia. Hopefully we get an object to get there. Your next goal is to visit the Lyserium, Infant Abbey, and Serpent's Castle for truth, love, and courage. So, next video, we're going to Infant Abbey. Here's a recap for this video. I went to the Shrine of Humility, Honesty, and Valor. After that, went to Scarabrite, rested, found the ghost finally, got the location of Whitestone. Then went to the final shrine, which is the Shrine of Spirituality. After that, got some more information from our Lord British, and he told us to, uh, where to go to next. And finally, Serpent Spine Mountains, north of Castle Britannia. In the next Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar walkthrough video, we're going to Impet Abbey. This is it for my Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar walkthrough part 17, the Shrines part 2 video. This is Lord Fett signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night, and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern games just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or you two suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. May the eight virtues be with you.